Good tidings, all you beautiful individuals. Welcome back. It is Lee Gunlock again. I am Eric Flying Han. Solo for y'all today and ask and ye shall receive because we are now getting some confirmations on some of these bigger, more marquee LPL rosters ahead of 2024 spring, which means it's late enough. We know enough information that we can start looking at not a full power ranking, too many teams in the LPL to do that. So we're going to look at who are the favorites or who should be the favorites to win the spring split title and a couple of dark horses that could maybe vie for a deep run towards that same title. And obviously, where you got to start looking ahead to this next year in the LPL is with the teams that went to Worlds last year and with the teams that are probably going to be favorites again because there's a whole lot of crossover from last year and you got to start with the squad that was two best of fives away from completing the golden road, the golden year, JDG. When you're keeping... Kanavi, Ruler, and Missing, three-fifths of this absolutely star-studded lineup. You would think right away on paper this should be the favorites to repeat and three in a row. Three-peat, that is, even with Yagao coming to replace Knight. Individually, you can talk about that maybe being a downgrade. If 369 was still on this squad, I think you would slot them in still as the big top dog favorites. But with Philandre and maybe Sheer, a young rookie coming in, and Yagao not really usually being a premier mid laner that you're playing through as the featured carry on a squad, that's a lot of the eggs going into the ruler basket. So this is still a team that can absolutely win spring, going to be one of the premier squads in the LPL spring split. But I'm not ready to claim them as the overall favorites coming into this one for me you, you've got to go with the squad that was finishing second fiddle to them time and time again and that is billy billy blg for a couple of reasons number one four fifths of that starting lineup is returning this is a semi-final finish an msi finals summer finals finish ben jun elk and on all coming back for a repeat performance for this squad. And you lose Yagao, who fits so perfectly in this team. But you've got Knight coming over. The mechanical god of the mid lane in the LPL. And a guy who's coming in with all of the JDG secrets. The kryptonite that BLG could not get over for the entirety of the 2023 season. Well, now you've got a secret double agent in Knight coming over it's not really a secret double agent if he's you know straight up and traded but feel like all the formula the recipes are going to be figured out for blg number one because jdg is not going to be as lethal an opponent and number two knight coming over i mean it, we've talked about this before but yagawa and knight seem to be just ceremoniously linked together their careers now dating back to the last couple of years since they've been meeting in so many different finals but you can talk about maybe too many cooks in the kitchen with knight elk and ben all being focal points things you want to play through but truthfully does elk need that much attention does knight need that much attention he can get ahead on his own i mean all three of the lanes can get ahead on their own but I don't think there's going to be a lack of resources to spread up around a th premier three carry team. Look at T1. I know Faker is taking a backseat to the rookies a little bit more than he used to. But when you have three lanes that you can play through and be the featured guy and the win condition, that's how you become a world-class team. And that is absolutely what this BLG squad is going to have going forward into spring. So I got them as the favorites. Doesn't mean there's other teams that aren't right behind them. JDG, we already mentioned. LNG, also coming back with the majority of the same lineup. Zika, Scout, Gala, Hong, and Mark is now coming over to maybe split time in the bot lane with Hong. We'll see how that plays out. The lone change is Weiwei coming in for Tarzan. And I know because Weibo finished better than LNG. Initially, you're saying, well, that must be an upgrade, right? Because Tarzan had an absolutely abysmal series against T1. But remember, 
coming into Worlds throughout the entirety of the LPL year. Tarzan was at worst a top three jungler in the LPL and a guy you had in the conversation for one of the premier junglers on the entire planet. So I'm not so sure Weiwei coming over is immediately going to be an upgrade or even a side grade for LNG, but this team still screams top three potential across the board, and uh, I'm excited to see Scout perform again. This is a guy who won MVP in summer, who also underperformed in that T1 series and even at the Worlds event as a whole, but LNG might have been a slight dark horse last year. This year, they're right in that B favorite category for me, right behind BLG. And another squad you're talking about, at least I'm talking about, as a potential favorite is the one that was one best of away from going to Worlds. So many familiar faces getting a new look here in 2024 Top Esports. 369 returns. That's reason number one why you feel like they would be a very solid pick to take home the spring split. Mako, not a rumor anymore, now confirmed he's joining this squad. So they got the leadership. They got the shot calling with Mako combined with Tien. This team is stacked with veterans, which is why I feel so good about Cream being on this roster. It feels like there's going to be so much pressure actually taken off his shoulders because the responsibilities that he had on OMG versus what he's going to have on top esports are going to be way less. All they need is just pop off in the laning phase and just show off those mechanics of that prodigal new AD care or new mid laner in the LPL. All the macro decision making. There's so many other veterans in Tien. Mako on this lineup, Cream. We just need you to focus on your gameplay, and that's why I'm confident we get a resurgent year. 2023 was not the best year for this still young developing player. It was much better the year before on OMG. I'm expecting a big bounce back, and that is really the main question mark, him and what level Tien is at and what Tien is at health-wise coming into this year. But if Cream gets back to some of that eye-popping, highlight reel making plays that we saw in 2022 especially there's no reason top esports can't be vying for a final spot in this spring split those are the big four top four i would say looking into this year but there's a couple dark horses to keep your eye on that had some sweeping roster changes and i know it's going to sound insane for me to say r n g they there were not too many star moments uh, or exciting moments at all. Last year, you have Way and Breathe most likely returning, but the big signings for RNG is the bot lane. LWX likely coming over, and Ming is off the bench. Wasn't able to get out of RNG, but I'll tell you what, they look a whole lot better when he is starting, and we were calling for him to come back. They desperately needed his leadership shot calling and laning prowess everything that this dude brings they needed it badly him and lwx coming is a big bump up this year because lwx had some amazing moments in 2023 he had them in 2022 as well he still has it and you feel like he can still reach that top level echelon of 80 carries in the lpl now with a new team around him excited for that bot lane and tang yuan is a guy who's still developing we've seen glimpses we've seen flashes Ming coming in to stabilize this roster. I think it's also going to have him step up. So easy playoff for this RNG roster. Maybe even a couple of series deep. A few upsets along the way that they should be making some noise. Uh, it's We didn't really get much out of the storied organization in 2023. 2024, time for a bounce back. The other squad to be looking out for. And this is less of a finalized roster. Still mostly rumors. So here's the caveat for that before as I go hype them up it's the mish mash of old victory five meets old omg we are talking the new ninjas in pajamas nip shanji and aki repping that omg flavor in the top side rookie and photic and shuo the whole bottom of the half being reunited from the v5 days remember that squad was going like 14 and 2 in the regular season and Fodic had a fantastic performance throughout all of last year even though his team didn't 
get a whole lot done. But if Rookie plays like he did in the spring split when he was at an all-pro level, and I know he had some personal issues with uh, some family matters that he had to deal with, so maybe an off-season of refocusing and, you know, just prioritizing himself, which is what I hope Rookie was doing, because I want to see him back on the rift. I want to see him happy and smiling, and I think there's an opportunity for him on this NIP lineup as the main veteran, surrounded by, you know, Fotic, still younger. We were seeing the growth of Shanji and Aki on OMG, and now that this core has been blown up to the wayside with Cream replacing Rookie on TES, excited to see these former OMG num uh, players in new settings, what they can get done. But NIP, another team that should, should easily be making playoffs with the potential to take some names, take down some squads ahead of them. So do not be sleeping on either RNG or NIP. Maybe clawing their way ceiling. I'm talking top four. I know that I know that's a little a little bit much. That might be a little dramatic when you have those other four squads that I talked about. But again, I've mentioned this before. Even with all the changes going around the LPL, you might feel like the power level's not as high as we saw in 2023. We say that every year, guys. And what happened at MSI this year? It's an LPL dismantling. I know T1 ended up winning Worlds, but we were close to four LPL teams in those semifinals. Maybe not close because T1 smashed LNG. But three out of four were still LPL teams in those semifinals. So do not ever be sleeping on the power level of the Chinese region. But that is it today for League Unlocked. My name is Eric. You people stay beautiful as always. And we will catch you on that flippity flip.